And here we have Z's desk set. This retails for $125, and something new you might notice is that this box is not the regular brown cardboard box. It's actually the burgundy American Girl color, and it comes with the sticker on the front showing you exactly what the product is. Now, the reason why I think this is relevant is because I think we're gonna see this product in stores like Toys R Us, maybe Kohl's and other stores, and for them to have them on the shelf, they have to see what they're getting. That's just my theory. Now to open it up, when you open the top of the box, you'll see the styrofoam on top, and this is exactly what it looks like as soon as you open the box. The armoire only takes up half of the box, the other half is just the chair in the protective styrofoam. Here is the armoire standing up. You'll notice there are two doors on the front and they both open in opposite directions. And then we turn it over to the side. There's a cool Seattle poster on it. This is a sticker on the armoire. And there are two hooks up above. Rotating it to the back, the back is just a solid. So we can go up against the wall in the bedroom and then the other side is a solid as well. Now, it is blank, so you can fill it with fun posters and stickers. That's up to you. This is the bottom cabinet. You open it right up, and there is a lot of storage space in here for Z's filming equipment, books. It's just a really fun part of the cabinet. And it's dadoed on the front, so there's a little bit of detail. Here's a blackboard on the top door, and it didn't come with any chalk, so I'm not sure if the chalkboard really works. When you open up the cabinet, there are three shelves and there are three packages to open on each shelf. This is the fold-out desk. You'll see it's attached to the inside of the door, which is really cool for storage. All you have to do is open up the legs and then fold the desk down. Now the desk is a plastic. The top and the legs are plastic, even though the rest of the armoire is a wood. So that's the only plastic part on the actual piece besides the hooks on the side. Here we have a pretty blue laptop for Z. She has to do a lot of editing of pictures and video. So it comes with the USB so she can do that, download the photos, and it goes right back into the laptop. Now this looks exactly like Gabriella's laptop, it's just a different color. There's even a place to put these screens in. You have two screens, but they do come with a front and a back. So that's four different options to put on your screen. Email, video editor, shopping pages, so it's really cool. And you can always make more screens, laminate them, and stick them in. Here are some of the desk accessories. This is a desk organizer, and it's really fun just because it looks like a clapboard. So it opens up and it claps, and there's a secret compartment in there to put some goodies. Comes with two mechanical pencils, and there is a place for them in the desk organizer, so you can just stick them on in there. Here is a little post-it note, and you can put that in the desk organizer as well. Two photo booth strips with Z and her friends. Three postcards, and they're all from Z to her friends. So on the back you can see the little note that she left for her friends. And I really love all the details on these postcards. I think we should make a stack of postcards. That would be really fun for the dolls. And the desk accessories keep on coming with this file box. It doesn't come with any folders, so I think we need to craft some. And then here are Z's storyboard papers. She has page one, two, and three, and she can set it out just to see the story of what she's filming. And these are really helpful, especially in stop motion. Here is the popcorn flip book. This flip book was made by Z, and it's featuring her dog, Popcorn. Really cool, once you flip through it, it looks like popcorn's doing tricks. She has just a regular notepad for all of her notes, movie notes, director's notes, and a stop motion book, which is really cool because it's filled with details, everything you need to know about stop motion and tricks to use, so really cool. Here is a video monitor for Z. It's a larger screen, which is really cool, and it actually tilts, so you can tilt the screen up or down depending on how she's sitting at her desk. Sometimes she might need more than one screen up, so she'll have this monitor up and her laptop. It also comes with two screens, but again, they are front and back, so you have four different options to display on the screen. And again, you can always make your own to stick in the screen depending on what your doll wants to look at. One thing I wish they would have added with this set is a keyboard and a mouse, because most monitors like this now have the computer built in, so it would have been cool to see a keyboard. 
Z has a very busy schedule, and to keep up with everything, she has this calendar. And it's also marked with special Z reminders throughout. There is a little hook on the side of the desk and you can put the calendar right on it and it is a little tricky to push it on. And here we have a stage light. Not really, this is actually her desk lamp which is really cool because it looks like a stage light and it fits anywhere on her desk and the right inside the armoire. And because it looks like a stage light, all these little wings do move. It tilts up and down to where she needs it. Batteries are included, so you take this little strip out, the buttons on the back, and you can turn it on and off. So it really works. Very neat. Here on the inside door of the armoire, we have a magnetic board, which is really cool because you can put any type of magnets on it, but it does come with these Z magnets, and there's a little catch box right underneath, so you can put markers in and notes. Now everything that comes in the set does fit inside the armoire and on the desk. And it wouldn't be an American Girl set without your sticker sheets. You get two sticker sheets and this is to decorate the outside, inside of your armoire and your desk. This is the last piece in the set and I saved it for last because I do have mixed feelings about the chair. It has a really cute concept. It's really cute, purple, modern, but the wheels, the bottom of the chair, really disturbs me because there are no casters on it. It's just a plastic, which I'm okay if it was gonna be a plastic chair, but the bottom really should have been metal. It should have been easy to swivel, and the casters should have been on it so it can roll. They did it for Melody's chair in the recording studio. I really wish we would have seen that here. And that completes the review of Z's desk set. It retails for $125 and it comes with so many fun, cool, amazing pieces. Give us a thumbs up if you agree.